I think I'd always been interested in the psychological questions. Mm -hmm. It led me into a direction which crucially, which, which, well, which I think the simplest way to express it is, is, is to express, is to talk about this, what, what this atrocity triangle, mm -hmm. that there is in the world an, a triangle in which some people are victims, in one corner they're the victims, to whom things are done and to whom bad things happen. They're the objects of genocide or political massacre, or they become uh, sl for slaves, or they work, well, whatever. The, the, there's the victim corner. Then there's the perpetrator corner, which is why do people do terrible things? Where all sorts of interesting questions have been asked. Do they have to believe in them? If we say we look at the literature on the Holocaust, Goldhagen says yes, they, have, they, they did believe in them. They were real ideological anti Semites. Zygmunt Bauman says, that, you know, no, you're talking about uh, a victory for modernity. It's something to do with the Weberian bureaucracy gone mad. It's not to, nothing to do with belief systems like anti Semitism. So, so, yeah, so, so in that third, in that second, or you have psychological questions. Are people sadists? Are, are they authoritarians? Are they cruel? Is there something about their upbringing? So, the victim and the perpetrator corner, but I always was interested in the third corner, it's not, which is the onlooker corner. I think that's the difference, not whether it's sociological or psychological, which is that that experience in South Africa made, I, I, I felt myself, well, in some senses I was part of the oppressor, mm. uh, but in a, gradually the sense that, 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 that I came to, to see as the problem was the problem of the bystander, the onlooker, the person who knows about or hears about atrocities or might physically see it happening. Like, I, you know, I think bullying in school is the archetypal one. There is the bully and there's the person who's being bullied, but there's always 20 kids who are watching. Now, what is there silent watching lending a encouragement to the perpetrator, to the bully. Sometimes, yes, sometimes they actively form a shield so that the teachers can't see the bullying going on. Or, or are they just pretty terrified themselves? And they, the, do they identify with the, with the victim, and, but they're too scared to say that? And so on. You know. So if you take that, the, the archetypal bully picture of the kid being bullied and 20 while watching, I think that my immediate you know, with, with the Batillon, uh, this organization's report on torture, of course we were looking to achieve some change. We wanted the government to immediately end these practices. We wanted Amnesty to investigate them. We wanted international... You know, yes, the aim was, was a standard human rights aim. You want, you want people to observe the, the human rights prohibitions. But my interest was not really... was not that alone. My interest was going back to, to my South African interest, which was, well, how do the average Israelis deal with this information?